I will walk you through how to change icon, how to change icon size, how to hide file text, add or remove system icons, remove align to grid, auto arrange icons, and remove shortcut symbols. I will make a separate video for Mac users and I will wear a suit. <coughs> I will also show you how to use a wallpaper change scheduler as well as how to use a live or animated wallpaper. Let's get it. Number one, how to add or remove icons. Oh no, I can't seem to find my icons even if I created a new folder. Just right click on the desktop, hover your mouse cursor to view, and check show desktop icons. That's it. Oh, I already did it, but somehow the my computer and recycle bin are still missing. Yes, you can just copy and paste or move these types of desktop icons. You can only do that on folders, so this is what you will have to do. Right click on the desktop, go to personalize, go to themes, look for related settings, then click desktop icon settings. There you can check the icons you want to show and then check icons you want to hide. You can also change the system icon image here since you cannot manually change these types of icons. Which leads me to number two, how to change folder icons. Just right click on the folder, click properties, go to customize, and there you can change the icon. On this particular wallpaper, the Windows 11 default icon pack matches better with the design. You can get this wallpaper and Windows 11 icon pack link in the description, my boy. Now let's go ahead and change it. My icon size can't fit perfectly with the masterful design. <coughs> it's probably because you're using a different display resolution or you are using a laptop instead of a PC. <coughs> Naughty boy. Here's what you're gonna have to do. Just right click desktop, hover to view and there you can see large icons, medium icons and small icons. Here's an example of a wallpaper, also link in the description. <laughs> There you go. Now what if you are really using a different display resolution re resolution, or you're using a laptop? Press and hold control key, then use the mouse scroll, scroll it upwards or downwards to change the size. This way you can get more size variations. Let's try it on <coughs> let's try it on a smaller resolution. From 1920 by 1080 to 1440 by 900. Use control with the mouse scroll. I changed it just enough make it seem like it would fit. Now as you can see it's a bit Fight. stubborn, the nope. icon doesn't want to go anywhere else, it just wants to stay there. Which leads us to number 4. How to remove auto align icons to grid and remove auto arrange. Right click desktop again, hover to view, then uncheck these two. Now you can move the icons freely. I'm free! <laughs> Giddy my boy. So basically, no matter what your resolution is, it can work. All of these steps are the same with Windows 11. Now we know how to match the icons with these sick wallpapers. Now how can we upgrade this up? Oh my neck! Number five, hide icon texts. We can hide icon text using invisible letters. First step, rename the icon, press hold out, and then press 255 using the numpad. See that? Now, what if the next icon says it's a duplicate name? Just do the process twice or more because it still acts as a letter. Daddy, I don't have an iPad. Help me. Well, you can copy this blank letter I did and paste it while renaming the folder. I have the invisible letter in the description. Just copy and paste it, my boy. But what if you want to hide the shortcut arrows? This is gonna be a bit confusing, so y'all can go ahead and skip this if you like. Go to taskbar and search registry editor, then open it. This will show up. And right here, expand HK local machine, expand software, expand Microsoft, expand Windows, expand the current version, then locate and expand Explorer. Now right click Explorer, go to new, then select key, rename the new key to shell icons. Why? I don't know. Then right click and select new and choose string value, then name it 29. Why is it not 69? I don't know. Double click 29 and then input this text under value data. You can copy this text in the description again. Alright, restart the computer. <laughs> Shortcut arrows are gone my boy. You can do that or you can just create a new folder and dump all your shortcuts there. Number 7. Use a wallpaper scheduler. Imagine using a morning mood wallpaper that automatically changes to night mood, night mode, 
night mode wallpaper during the night. Yeah, just download this free app called Wallpaper Change Scheduler on futuresite.org or link is also in the description. Now once you've installed it, open it up and click add event. This will pop up and you can choose a trigger. I will use a daily and at exactly 6 a.m. the wallpaper will be the morning wallpaper. What? Make sure the wallpaper style is in fit. Just click browse and look for the morning wallpaper that I made. Now click create. Now add another event. But this time I will set it to 6 p.m. But this app is using military time, therefore I'll input here 18. Now let's wait. Let's go! Number 8. Use live water. What? Live water? Use live or animated wallpaper. For this one, you need to download this free lively wallpaper. You can find it on Microsoft Store or click the link. I have the link in the description again because that's who I am. Once installed, open the app and then click add wallpaper. You can actually use a YouTube video by pasting the YouTube video link down here. But for this case, let's just use the backgrounds that I made. Click OK and wait for a few seconds to load. There you go. Ain't that exciting? <laughs> By the way, you cannot run these two apps, the Lively Wallpaper and Wallpaper Change Scheduler, so I suggest you choose one. Hopefully, you learned something today. Don't forget to spam the subscribe button. For real though, your support will help me to continue creating more unique wallpapers and icon packs that are extremely affordable and sometimes even free. Yeah, comment down below some wallpaper ideas. You know, maybe you'll get a shout out. <coughs> and until next time, my fellow Broccolians and Broccolilies.